All right, what's up everyone? I wanted to make this quick video for you today. Uh, we are here in our studio, we're working on a bunch of other stuff, but uh, you know, it just got me thinking about the importance of catch lights, right? And if you don't know what those are, you know, when you zoom into an image and you're lighting it with strobes, there should be a reflection in their eye. So if you've ever seen uh, a portrait and there's nothing in their eye, no light source in their eye, that's not natural, they've edited that out. And so that's completely unnatural. Uh, right, whatever the wherever that light's coming from, you should see that light source. In fact, as we're talking about that, if you want to reverse engineer a shot and you're curious about how did they light that, you start looking for shadows where the shadows are on their face. That'll show you where the direction is, and you can look for those catch lights, that bright spot in the eye. And you want that bright spot in the eye because that's what's going to draw uh, your attention to their eye. Right? It's kind of like looking into their soul, uh, and so you want that there, no matter what. But it's important because depending on the shape of your light. Uh, that's going to impact what that catch light looks like. Now, in this particular setup here, I've got a uh, Profoto uh, B10 Plus and a Profoto uh, Large Umbrella. And I'm going to show you the difference. I'm just going to show you two shots. This got me thinking. I'm like, you guys need to see this because it's, it blows my mind. So we are uh, going to be adding to the shot uh, the Westcott Eyelighter. Now, I've been using this for years in my portraits, in my headshots. Uh, and so this allows me to work with just one light as the main source. Sure, if you want to have a hair light, edge light, back light, you can add all that. But I'm talking about strictly for the face and that, and that forward piece. Um, I can now have that strobe. It's going to light her beautifully, but I have no way to fill those shadows. Sure, I can hold a reflector in there, but it's not curved the way the eyeliner is. So it's curved. It's going to wrap that light uh, around Alyssa's face and really create a pleasing, not only catch light, a pleasing fill on those shadows. And I'm telling you, this is the one kind of thing I've had. I'm gonna throw a link down in the description. Uh, buy from Westcott, support us. It is, it is a link that uh, we get some kickback on. I, I don't really think I get a lot of kickback. I, we don't really make that much money. You, you'd be better off donating to me. I, I'm totally kidding. But click the link. If you love it, use it. Go to Westcott, buy from them. Let them know we sent you over there. But all fairness, all truthfulness. We use this in our studio all the time. So I really just wanted to show you the difference between two. I'm just gonna show you two shots. I'm gonna take one shot without it, zoom into the eye, I'm gonna take another shot with it, and I think you're gonna be blown away. All right, so for that first shot, as you can see, as we zoom into the eye, you are seeing a catch light um, and you're seeing some shadow under her chin, under her nose. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't, uh, but it's not very uh, soft or pleasing to, I think, beauty portraits. But as we zoom into the eye, uh, we can also see that there's just one uh, catch light in the top part of the eye. Uh, and you could go in in post-production and dodge and burn, right? A lot of people add it uh, artificially and bring in that uh, texture and brightness to the bottom part of the eye. But with the eye lighter, we are going to be able to do that naturally. So let's add the eye lighter. Let's see the difference in the two. All right, so as soon as we look at that second shot and zoom in, we can see the catch light in the eye. And so it's not just about creating that highlight in the eye, which is very pleasing, it's about filling those shadows underneath, again, in a very pleasing way. So for beauty portraits or any kind of headshot, this is awesome fill light that's gonna fill in those shadows, but not get rid of those shadows. And as we look at the eye, the catch light in the eye is perfectly curved like the eyeball. This is the perfect tool uh, to add to your arsenal, if you will. So now I can work in one light and create a beautiful portrait. So if you like this video, I know it was short and sweet. I just, it was in my head. I wanted to create it for you. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Give us a like, give us a shout out down in the comments. Let us know if you like the difference in that second shot as well, or maybe you like the plain first shot, which is not so good. So eyeliner for the win.